So, uh, yeah, we uh, we came out to Philly. My heart a good guy. You probably don't know him, but I'll introduce you in a second. Um, we came out because he's got an Inspire, and I got a pair of goggles, and I wanted to get an opinion of an Inspire flyer. But it looks like we can't fly the Inspire because it needs an HDMI connection that didn't come with the one that connects to his Inspire. So, since we can't improvise, I can't do, I don't know if we can do OTG like we do with the Spark. But we're going to try it. I'm going to try it just because. And then, um, if not, he'll just fly to Mavic and tell me what he thinks about the goggles. And then I'll get a chance to get my first chance up and close with, a, with an Inspire. Because I've never actually seen one fly, only in videos. So if you guys don't know this guy, his name is Nick Lang. What's up? Nick Lang Media. <laughs> right. And I'll show you some guy here. You don't know Nick Lang, but you'll be surprised when I show you Nick Lang if I can use his uh, likeness that uh, some of the things that uh, I was shocked about when he showed me because he's a humble guy. Like, I'm talking to this guy, and he tells me, yeah, I was out hanging out with Branson. I'm like, um, who? Richard Branson? He's like, yeah, Richard Branson. So... <laughs> I'm um, a humble guy that wears his stupid name <laughs> on my shirt. Hey, that's merch, man. That's merch. Yeah, I try to get my own merch started. I ain't got enough. I don't have enough cup, uh, followers right I now to get my own merch. Those, yeah. So um, we're out with an Inspire today. And I, is this the Inspire 1? Yeah, this is the Inspire 1 with the X5 camera. So I mean, some people call it the Inspire 1 Pro. But okay. essentially it's the Inspire 1 with the X5 camera on here. And actually this lens here, what's great about the X5 is it has interchangeable lenses. Mm -hmm. So this is actually not the stock lens. I actually borrowed this lens today for a shoot okay. uh, in Philly to get closer to a building without you know, getting too close to the building. So I just want to keep a really safe distance. Plus we're filming in 4K, so I'll punch in. So it just makes like those city shots a little safer, I think. Using, yeah. uh, 45 would have been ideal, but I couldn't get one in time. So 25 millimeter just made it a little easier, more safe, really. Yeah. Um, um, I've never even seen anything with a camera on this big. Um, I was thinking about getting the, um, what's the other one? The, um, Spark 2? No, the Pro, the Phantom 4 oh, yeah, Phantom Pro. Pro. Yeah. But um, I just kind of did, I ended up buying a Spark and a pair of goggles and some other stuff. So we're out here with a lot of stuff. Like I said, I came out here with the wrong cable. Apparently this cable don't attach. This cable don't attach to his controller. So we're going to go and we're just going to do some flying. I am very interested in seeing what the um, quality of video is compared to like the Mavic. I'm going to let Nick, who would, by the way, if you're in the Philly tri-state area, Nick, me, Nick Lang is the guy to go to for your aerial photography. So I'll link him. You got a YouTube page? Uh, yeah, I got, um, it's just Nick Lang. Well, I got a, the website's Nick Lang Media, but uh, YouTube page, I think if you just search Nick Lang Philadelphia, I okay. got a lot of, uh, you checked out some of the FPV racing. I got a I did, huge yeah. playlist of FPV coverage. FPV stuff. He's yeah. the guy I met when I went out to my first FPV race. Um, very good, guy, very cool guy. Spent like a long two-hour trip with him. Got to know him, and he's a good guy. So I'll link you to all of his stuff. If you need some aerial photography, he's the guy to go to. This guy's part 107. He's just been schooling me on a lot of um, <laughs> FAA regulations that you again. Okay, a lot of you internet police like to police people's videos. He knows his shit, and he right. knows where you can and cannot fly. <laughs> so a lot of the things that you guys think you know are not true. And maybe one day when we have more time, I'll you know sit down with him because I'm actually thinking about getting my part 107 and understanding what I can do with it. the thing that I have reason I haven't got my part 107 is because it feels like I'm restricted more than when I get the part 107 like I can't do the stuff that I can do now when well, I get part you, 107. Can, you can still have the part 107 you can just you can just classify yourself as a hobbyist for stuff you're doing oh, okay it's all, it's all about the per job you're doing so oh. like I'm, I'm, I'm not stuck being I'm still a hobbyist when you okay. think about it I'm, right. just, I'm a commercial Com I was doing a commercial job what an hour ago mm -hmm. and now I'm strictly hobbyist okay <laughs> all right so we're gonna learn maybe a little bit about 107s because I, I got all these toys I keep buying drone after drone after drone and they're collecting dust because I don't get out to, to fly them so maybe I can make a little coin on the side with them so we're gonna get set up and in a second we're gonna go through I'm gonna let Nick try out the goggles since we can't connect to the Inspire I would love to get some video footage if you don't mind just like some flyovers with the Inspire on my card yeah. if I can compare the video yeah. compared to you shooting 4k uh, yeah, I can shoot 4K or okay. 1080p. So I can shoot 4K on this one too. So maybe at the highest resolution so guys can really tell the difference. I'll oh, yeah. upgrade, I'll upscale to 4K. Yep. Even though I hate messing with 4K files because they're like a monster. Um, but um, we'll get some comparison between the two cameras. That one's probably way better than the uh, original yeah, Inspire uh, camera. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. The, the, uh, the, the camera that came on the Inspire essentially is the same sensor that it's like on the... P4? No, it's even... Well, the P4 Pro has got a better sensor. Than oh, the, really? Uh, didn't know that. Inspire. All right, so we're just gonna play around for a bit, guys. We'll get back to you. I wanted to be this like be a vlog thing, but because we don't have the right connections, we're just gonna have some fun out here, fly around, maybe get some cool shots, and post up later um, what he thinks about the DJI goggles. I actually, if you don't know, I actually had these things in a box ready to send them back because I bought them. I love them, but I've only used them like twice. And then when I think about how often I'm gonna use them, or if I'm gonna travel with them, like they are heavy and they're big. It's another case. It's a literally another freaking big black case I gotta carry. So I don't know. I'm gonna let him give me a, uh, like his opinion on whether or not I should keep them or not. Yeah, and I might uh, buy him. <laughs> or he might buy them.
It's actually pretty quiet. It does it transform by itself? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here, I'll show off a little bit. <laughs> right? Show off, bro. Some little FPV action here. <laughs> So just take it out and uh, fly it down like where that guy's cutting the lawn, get some of that background and uh, maybe... Record this? Yeah, yeah. Just like uh, show me, give me some, some, some video. Maybe stand still for a second. But the only thing about like the Inspire that kind of... I reason I didn't pick one up is because it just seems like so much drone to have just for playing around with, like for hobbyists. Yeah, it totally is. I mean, when I had the Phantom 2, it was also one of my first drones, so I was really excited about having one. And I would take the Phantom 2 out and just get shots just for the hell of it. Cool. But with this, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm definitely, this is my workhorse. Uh, but if I was to get something that I would just fly for fun, it would definitely be from having it hands down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you can turn that little ratchet thing on the back and it'll, it'll tighten them down. How's it look? good right now. Looks good. Okay. This is crazy. Man. I, I, I feel like, I mean, I don't feel like I'm flying a racing drone, but mm -hmm. I have that confidence inside the goggles. All right, so lag test. So like one, two, oh dude, way better than, than the uh, iPad. For that alone, I would use these. Yeah, like flying through these trees, mm -hmm. I feel a lot more comfortable with the Mavic. All right, there's a car coming across the street. All right, do me a favor, bring it back, because I want you to try something for me. I want to show you something. You just get nervous. No, no, no. I want you, I want you to I want you to fly between the trees, but I want you to show you the path. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so what? All right, tilt the guy goggles up for a second. Do you yeah, think you here. could come this way, fly here, and you see that straight shot right there? No, nah, across the street. Yeah. Could you fly across the street and through those two trees on the other side of the street out into the middle of the field and then back up and back at them? Yeah, of course I can. Don't fuck up my Mavic. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. If you can't. Watch it, there's a car coming. <clears throat> sport mode. Oh, uh, dude, if you do sport mode, there is no obstacle avoidance. Right. You want me to get the other gap? Nah, I just fly the gap. I want you to fly the gap, and then I want you to go out in the middle of the field and then bring it up and turn it around and fly back over the trees. All right. So you trust me with a lot of sight skills right now? All right, so I'm recording. Are there no trees, no cars? You have the, hold on. You have, it's good. Go, hope, 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 the gimbal tries to keep up? Yeah. Yeah. Put it's put anything, I'll just keep it slow. All right, you are good. Good? Yeah. So Nick is going to shoot this gap. Oh, car. car. Fuck. Car coming from the other side. Oh, tree. Come down, come down, come down, come down, come back. Oh, boy. Was I right under it? You were right under oh, it, bro. Man. You were, like, that close to the branches. Wow. Right. So right now, you are, I mean, you could probably see your height off the ground, right? Yeah. Okay. So if you if you flew at this height off the ground, you're probably going to hit those trees on the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, I want to come down. And remember, in sport mode, you have no obstacle avoidance. So, all right. No cars? No cars.
So what we just learned is that the the DJI video where they got guys flying this thing around like a fucking you're FPV fly. Oh wait, no. Now you get it. You get you're clear. You're right in the oh middle of it. Gosh. Don't don't move it. Just fly straight forward. All right. How they? I mean, I can see how they race these, but I don't know if they would. I would want them to. So what are you thinking? What are you thinking so far? From what you've experienced right now, 450 bucks for the a set goggles? of these goggles. If I you had, uh, you would? Okay, honey, I get you know. <laughs> In a heartbeat, only for, it's all about like some of the commercial stuff. Sometimes it's about appearance, right? So mm -hmm. it's like you show up on a set for, you know, a TV show or something like that. And you don't want to show up with a little Phantom or a Mavic. Yeah. And it sounds stupid, but some producers really like look at that and they think, you know, they value that. Mm -hmm. Having something a little more impressive looking. Yeah. And I think just having these on set and being able to give it to a director and be like, hey, tag along. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's a good investment for somebody that wants to do uh, professional piloting with them. Oh, but, sure. but I mean, like for somebody who's just a, I mean, I know a lot of guys around FPV. They're like, hey, I just want to fly around FPV. I mean, I get sort of the same experience just looking at the screen sometimes. And then I've done a lot of reviews on alternative apps that give you that FPV feel. Not as good as the DJI goggles do, but yeah. you still get the FPV feel out of it. I, st I think this is, for a hobbyist, this, this is actually this is way more fun than okay. just flying on your iPad. Because if you're getting it as a hobbyist, most guys are like, ah, oh, dude, I just wanted to like fly and like check things out. And, like, you know, I'm not going to get anything cinematic. But with this, I don't care what you're filming. This is just fun. I mean, this is like a video game right here. Yeah, so like when nice. it comes to racing, it doesn't stop on a dime like they showed in that video. <laughs> so it, has, it does have brake sensitivity. I could adjust the brakes, but... Um, like for what we were doing, mm -hmm. the sport mode, I don't know where I'm pointing right now. I think that's, you are, yeah, I can see what's on the screen. Yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. That gap over there, mm -hmm. when I was flying through it, I just wanted to make a small adjustment, but my adjustment. It went a little hard. It yeah. went really hard, and then I, I had to really pull it back to bring it back. Yeah, you got so nervous, bro. Like Dude, and put, uh, put, tip your goggles up for a minute. Yeah. You, I've never, I mean, the times I've seen you fly, you look like a newbie because when you started yeah, hitting right, that gap, it was, it was doing, the drone was doing. You probably couldn't see the drone was doing this. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, dude, do you got it? Do you got it? And <laughs> you had like, look, you had like a lot of space between that. And I'm like, yo, what are you doing? What are you doing? Because you were doing this, and I'm like, eventually he's gonna lose control and second gas yeah. and clip well, that cause, tree. Because it's like I put one point in, end point in, and by the time I'm like, oh crap, I need to go the other way. Mm -hmm. I had to pull back the other way, so that's what it looked like. Yeah, like pull that. back. Yeah. But it wasn't because of the lag. I think it was just because of the, like the braking. Yeah, you got battery. I was like, damn, this thing's been flying forever. Right, and, <laughs> Ending and then get out of here. Yeah, definitely do. All right, we've been out this park like fucking forever, and the battery's actually dead, Nick, man. So let's just shoot this real quick and get out of here. So again, um, Nick shot some excellent video footage. I'm going to put it up and post it. Again, if you want some uh, some aerial photography <laughs> in the Philly area, I'll get his address or his web address or his uh, website address and put it on the link below. But real quick, Nick, again, because I don't know if I even got the video footage. What do you think of the goggles? Dude, I love them, man. Yeah.